What's up, happy people? This here is a bucket list trip. We're heading over to Staniel Key. Got my mom and dad with me. Got Sarah and the girls. We're gonna have a world-class time. It's Wednesday. We're gonna be there till Monday morning. And you are riding shotgun. Here we go, y'all. Say goodbye to the concrete jungle. That's some of the most beautiful water in the whole world right there. Thank you. Rob, what are we gonna be catching with these? Blue Marlin. <laughs> this little community here in the Exuma Keys is such a tight-knit community. Everybody gets along so well. It's just like, this is what island life is all about. My boy, Kevin Doyle. He is what Great Friends is all about, and uh, we are gonna have just an amazing time. <laughs> my dad always sacrificed, worked his butt off and took me and my brothers on vacation down to the Florida Keys, and uh, now it's his time to reap the reward. We're gonna run out to a place called the Tongue of the Ocean. It's this isolated pocket that's surrounded by flats, but it's super deep and it holds a lot of fish. I mean, hey, I got a fish. We can deep drop, uh, we can troll, we can spear fish, we can do it all. Whatever we do is happening out there and you are riding shotgun. This is what they call a silver snapper here in the Keys, or in the Bahamas. Yeah. We can really enjoy eating these. Yeah. We don't eat them back home too much, but over here, they, they love them. They love them. Thank you. 
eating fish right there. Rockfish. call a rock monster that thing is slap full of meat that's a big lobster that's a monster lobster holy mackerel brother good stuff man three years ago I came down here and spent a week on his yacht we made lobster bisque that's like my third biggest video I've ever made he said Ruby you must come back and make more lobster bisque. <laughs> so, the very moment we saw this lobster, I said, hey, it's lobster bisque 2.0. That's what we're gonna do now. Ooh, got me a piece of pizza. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna... 
Been out on the boat all day. Yeah. Got all kinds of seafood. Everyone showed up, divvying it out, giving it to people that don't have any. And uh, just a great way to be. We've been cleaning some hogfish and lobster in just a minute. This is a wine bottle. You know how big a wine bottle is. That tail is bigger around than the wine bottle. If you don't have a wine bottle, that's a paper towel. That just gives you a comparison. Go grab a, paper, a roll of paper towels and you'll understand. That's a gigantic lobster. And we're gonna make a lobster bisque, but it's gonna be my own like crazy rendition. So it's called lobster bisque, but it's gonna be more than that. Um, come in here. These legs are super big and we wanna utilize all the meat that's in them. Come right in there, there's these knuckles. Get all those off. Now take all of our legs, drop them in there. Make sure you don't do this on the, on the table because they have tons of like uh, fluid in here that sticks to everything. Now that tail is about a two pound tail and it's really, really, really hard. So I start back here towards the back. Work that down just like that, turn it around. I mean, that is large and in charge. Take this, break it just like that. Then your vein will be exposed. Go ahead and get rid of that. See what I do? You break it loose there and then that's gonna pull out. Do the same thing over here. Break it loose, and then grab a hold of it. Now, there's still tons of love and goodness in that shell. We're gonna throw it right in there. Take some sea salt, salt up our water real nice, just like that. Let that boil. Take our big chunks of meat like this, and let's just cut it up. Not into tiny pieces, but you know, just just into chunks of love. Put in some butter. Mm-hmm. Onion. Take some of our lobster. Put it right in there. Now we're gonna take all of this love and goodness and just it's just gonna start coming together. Let it start cooking down. We're just putting our ingredients together right now. Now, this is a little seasoning that I got from the Blue Store. It's called Complete Seasoning. We're just gonna season this up. It has such a wonderful smell to it. Oh, yes. So, what's been your most favorite part of this trip so far? <laughs> Everything, the views, the weather, I the gonna, atmosphere. I thought you were gonna, you. <laughs> There you go. Well, you went fishing. Well, I was fishing for a compliment there, I guess. Leave a comment below. Who cooks more? You or your significant other? Because in our household, he's the better cook. Well, I just, I think I enjoy cooking more. Look how beautiful that is. Starting to caramelize a little bit. We're gonna take a little Sauvignon Blanc, put that in here, and let that start to reduce down. So now our lobster is done. The Sauvignon Blanc is reducing down. I'm gonna reduce this to low and let it just simmer. This shell is done. We boiled it, it's done. We don't need it to do anything else. Our legs, we do have something to do with them. I wanna take them out of here. That is that is just beautiful stock. And we're gonna make it even more beautiful. We're gonna add celery, some ginger, onion, and some lime. There you go. Just like that, and we're gonna put it back on the heat. Now, that's just gonna continue to add flavor. See what we're doing? We're just stacking flavors, stacking flavors. It's all gonna come out perfect. 
See how it comes out in little chunks like that? Then you hold it with your finger, pull it right off. Same thing on this side. Comes right out, just like that. Then hold it on one end, that leg comes right up. Look how pretty that is. Show you one more time. There you go. Pop off one end. Comes right out. Big, beautiful chunks of meat from the leg that otherwise most people would throw out. It's like a king crab leg. What you think, Dad? Pretty good. Can't wait to eat it. <laughs> sure was fun having you out there, Dad. That's good. I've Isn't never had lobster leg like that. Mm. Mm, that's really good. Now, take a red bell pepper. Pop the top. Don't want to waste any. I'm going to skin this tomato real quick. I think the skin hangs up when you're making your soup or your bisque, the skin will hang up and become like a sort of stringy. And if you just take and skin it like that, then you... Hey Rob, what's mm -hmm. the difference between a green, yellow, and red pepper? Good question. My buddy Joey Haluska actually taught me that. A green pepper, a yellow pepper, and a red pepper are all the same exact pepper. They're just a different life cycle. So they start off green, then they go into yellow, then they turn red. Interesting. All the same. So they all taste the same? Well, I think the longer they ripen, the sweeter they get. The sweeter they get. And I'm That's a big sad. believer when you're cooking tomatoes that you need to season them. I'm gonna take some of our stock with some of our onion, some of our celery. Mm -hmm. Not too much but about, I'd say, about that much. See how much fluid we have in there? Then we're gonna take our tomatoes, put them in there, our peppers. Some of them will go on the floor, some will go in the bowl, and our garlic. We're gonna put that all right in there. Now, this is all the herbs that you just saw us put in there. We'll put that in there. Now we take all of our lobster and we're gonna put that in there. Mm -hmm. Yes siree. Now we're gonna let that start to thicken. All that flavor is gonna condense down into a happy, thick, Love potion. You don't want to cut them too fine. I added a little bit of water and cornstarch just to help it thicken. Now, all you have to do is let it boil until it hits the consistency that you want. As long as it's boiling, it's getting thicker because you're pulling or evaporating the water out. Take a ladle. About that much. Take a few. Take ourselves a couple legs. A little bit of cracked pepper, just like that. And you are eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> Drop a thumbs up if you think that looks amazing. I promise you, I just taste tested it. It is spot on. Let's see what everyone else thinks. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for this wonderful trip with amazing friends and family. Lord, I pray that you bless each one that's here tonight, Lord, each family, and, and I pray that you nourish this food to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 All right, y'all, I'm telling you right now, this is what you call a bucket list trip. Now this is my third time coming here, so maybe I got three buckets, but I couldn't be any more grateful. <laughs>
Well, it's my first, so. All right, let's see what you think. It's not fishy. Uh-uh, not at I all. I can't eat fishy things, and this isn't fishy at all. It's really good. Thank you. Well, good, Mom. I'm glad y'all like it. Hey, I hope you guys didn't like it. If you did like it, please drop a thumbs up below. And, um, I don't know. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. But this is a real blessing. I just want to tell each and every one of you, thank you for taking the time out of your day to be a part of mine. And uh, that's all I got for now. Take care. God bless. And we are. Please check out StanielAir.com if you want to come do this. But we're gone for now. We are.